a lot about art history. Are there any UFOs recorded in ancient paintings that you are aware of? Yes, there are. Oh, really? Can you show sure. me? Come. Okay. Look. This is a beautiful painting, the Madonna with San Giovannino. It is in the Palazzo Vecchio in Florence, Italy, and dates back to the 15th century. Everything seems normal, but if you look here to the right, there is a man and a dog looking up to a flying object. Let's look at it a little bit closer. Oh, God. Wow. See that? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Here is the baptism of Christ. It is in the Fitzwilliam Museum in Cambridge, England. As you can see, something that looks like a flying saucer is illuminating the scene. All right. And this one has something similar as well. It is the Annunciation by Carlo Crivelli painted in 1486. It is in the National Gallery in London. As you can see, a flying object is sending down a beam of light to the Madonna. Here is the object, shedding light and a cloud. <laughs> wow! Can you believe it? Yeah, no, I mean, it's unbelievable. Yeah. This is a crucifixion at a cathedral in Mishketa, Georgia. At the top right and left, we can see two upside-down balls, each with a face looking down. Wow! And lastly, I'm going to show you something really outrageous. Another crucifixion. This painting is in a monastery in Kosovo, dating from the 1350. There are two flying machines in the sky. The one on the left chasing the one on the right, each with a pilot inside. Let's look at them closer. Oh my God. The one on the right is even looking back at the one after him. Wow, so we're not alone then, I guess, I huh? I guess not. Okay, thank you, Leo, for that. And See ya, I'm gonna do some more sky watching.